Hello, everyone. I, I, I'm getting to the place where they want me to make service announcements. They want me to, to talk on Facebook. They want me to do things that, that I've never done before. And six weeks ago, I came to you and I told you that I wanted to honor our president. I wanted to honor our governor. I wanted to honor our, our county judge and, and respect all people in, in the time that we're living in. We've, we've had an unprecedented time in our nation, a, a, an inexplicable time. And, and I believe that our president, our governor, our, our, our county judge, I believe they've all, all of, have done an, in, an incredible job. I believe all of the, the response teams, all the emergency response teams have, have done phenomenal in and through all of this, this virus that has been taking place. I believe we're at a time and in a season that it's time to open back up. We stopped having our services for that six week period to honor everything that was going on to try to protect our nation, protect those that, that were vulnerable. We're to a time that I feel like that it's time that we open up again. One of the biggest things that has bothered me in and through every bit of it is in, in Proverbs 18, 1 and 2, he says that, that a person who isolates themselves goes against all sound wisdom. and, and and that's something that I've struggled with because I know we all need that, that camaraderie. We all need that community. We all need that fellowship with one another. And so that's been the toughest thing on me. But I believe that it's time. And so on, on this Sunday, May the 3rd, we're going to open up for services. Uh, we're going to continue to do the Facebook Live. We're going to continue to do all the things that we've been doing. But we're going to open our doors in the foyer. We're going to have them open and propped open where we won't have our normal door openers, our door greeters there. Uh, we don't want to, everybody to crowd around the bar and fellowship and stay in the front and, and do those things. I, I want that. I truly do. But I want to respect everyone's wishes. It, it's a time for us to come back together. Our facility is big enough that we can all practice the social distancing that, they, that they, they've asked us to do. You know, they, our, our governor said that we could go back to 25% capacity on things. Our county and our county judge said that we could go back to 50%. And, and so I'm not gonna turn anyone away. If, if, if we have a packed house, that's awesome, that's great. If people feel uncomfortable being crowded, that's okay too. And, and so we wanna honor everyone's wishes and so we will open up. Uh, is, this Sunday is the first Sunday. We always have communion. And, and so what we did was went and bought the, the communion uh, that we always use when we go to Israel. We buy boxes that are, are pre-made little wafers and, and juice in a package together that is it's in a, its own package protected. And, and we'll have people wearing gloves that will hand those things out to every person that walks through the door. And so they will have those and be responsible for those. So we take our communion at the end. We always come up as a family at the end and everybody crowds in because we want to do it as a community, as a family. But, uh, you know, we'll adjust some and we'll do it from our seats and we'll do it from where we're at. But you'll already, say, already have it there. Uh, if you are uncomfortable and you need a mask or you, you wear a mask, that's okay. Come and wear your mask, wear your gloves. It's okay. Nobody's going to judge you or condemn you for it. We also will have hand sanitizer there. We'll have masks that are there that you can, can use one of the masks that if you feel uncomfortable and want a mask. What we ask is if anyone is sick, then go ahead and stay at home. Respect other people and, and those around you. Uh, we had a, a message last night from our county and said that the four persons in our county that have been diagnosed with, with the virus have, have come back and they're doing okay. They're, they've, they, they've come through the storm of, of having that. And so our, our county has done awesome. And I just want to commend all of our county and everyone involved in our hospital and our, our emergency staffs everywhere, fire departments, police, sheriff's department, all of those uh, EMTs and paramedics, everything that you've had to do in and through all this. We are so appreciative of you. To all the, the, the churches in our community, you know that I, I scream and holler, there's one church and, and it's the body of Christ. It's, it's not uh, Christian missions and, and, and we want to respect what everyone chooses to do and, and we want to honor what everyone wants to do. At this time, we're going to open up, okay? And so 
the, the guidelines we've been given, we've been given some phase one, two, and three, and, and we'll start on that first phase of, of begin to, to come back and, and not do all the things we normally do. We won't have our nursery available. We won't have our kids on a mission available. That way you can sit with your family and your children and you don't have to be concerned about where they're uh, at or who they're coming in contact with. Uh, it, like I said before, if, if you've if you're got some illness, it's okay to stay home. If you've got some pre-existing health issues and you're still uncomfortable with getting out right now at this time, it's okay. We love you and you can still continue to tune in on Facebook and all of our social media stuff we're doing. We'll continue to make those announcements and things. If you have family in your home that has someone sick or, or vulnerable, if you want to stay home with them and protect them, and, and, and then please do those things. If you have a Fever, you know that that's what they're telling us is if you have a fever just stay home and and wait till till all of that passes uh, we want to respect each and everyone's wishes for me personally I have to walk around my hands in my pocket because uh, my personality I want to I want to shake your hands I want to hug your neck I want to welcome you but I, I want to respect everyone where they're at and, and so please Sunday morning at 1045 we're gonna begin our regular services and we're welcoming all of you back that want to come come in we have a, a phenomenal facility and, and plenty of room for you uh, and so as our theme has been welcome home we want to see you and, and and so thank you for taking the time to listen and and we'll see you sunday either on social media or we'll see you there in person so please uh, do what you feel is the best for you and your family i bless you in jesus name